Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and I have an unboxing for you today. This is going to probably be just a very quick short unboxing, but I was so excited to show you a couple things that I got and they are Christmassy. <laughs> so I wanted to um, get this up really quickly and show you what I got. Um, these items are from Amazon and I will post all of the links to the items in the description below. Um, I should mention that I do have an Amazon affiliate account and so the links that I will post down below there is a chance that I could make a small amount of commission off of them if you click on them just so you know. So I am going to start with this big one because this is the actually the least exciting <laughs> of the things that I bought. Um, so I'll start with this one. Um, this is a tool item I guess you could say rather than like a diamond painting kit. I just struggle with this real quick. I hope everybody's having a really nice day. It is freezing here where I am. It's about uh, 20 degrees out. <laughs> so wherever you are in the world, if you are somewhere where it's cold, I hope you're staying warm. <laughs> and if you live somewhere where it's warm, I'm very jealous of you. <laughs> so, alrighty. You might already be able to guess what this is by the picture on the box here. Uh, you know what? Let me move this and get the box out. Okay. So this is an easel for a tabletop. My neck has been killing me recently and I spend a lot of time on the computer for my job, which is one thing. And then, so like my neck has been hurting because of that. And when I work overtime, I can tell that my neck starts to bother me even more. And then when I'm diamond painting, I can tell it gets even worse. So I decided to buy an easel and I kind of was looking around at, oh, there's a spot on there, at different ones. And this was the one I ultimately ended up picking up. This one had really good reviews, and a lot of people were saying that it was good specifically for diamond painting. I wanted one that had a decent sized lip so that I can put my light pad on here when I'm using a light pad. Um, I don't always use the light pad, but sometimes I do. So I wanted to make sure that it had a nice lip on there. Seems to be pretty solid, and it's a an okay color. It does have a spot right here. I don't know if you can see, but I don't think I'm really bothered about that <laughs> because it's going to be covered up by my light pad and my painting anyway. So the back of it has different settings where you can move the easel part of it to adjust it. And then it lays down flat. It's pretty light. I would say it's probably like five pounds maybe. So it's pretty light and it does feel sturdy. It does feel like it's nicely made. Let's see, the brand name is Miratuso. Again, I will link it down below in case anybody's interested to look at it. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you yet how it, how it feels to use it. Um, it does look like it's well constructed. It's got two hinges here. And everything feels like it's sturdy. That is maybe a little bit wobbly in there. So on this side, the screw is maybe a little bit loose, which is, yeah, not a huge problem. I can tighten that up maybe. Um, but it seems really nice. And I think this is going to save my neck a lot, especially... So I'm in my craft room right now and I plan to use this in here and then out in my living room I actually have another craft desk that the tabletop of that already folds up and down so I don't think I'll need to use this out there but when I'm in here I think I will need to use this. So 
I'm pretty pleased with that. This was, um, let me get my notes here for the price. This was $29.99 on Amazon. And I got free overnight shipping, which is always my favorite thing because I want it like right now. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's, it feels nice. And I think it will be easy to travel with as well because it folds up nicely. And I think this will fit like into my bag easily. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so let me just move this and we'll get on to the fun stuff. Okay. So this next package is the cute stuff. So, the first thing I got, oh wow, it came in a little case. So the first thing I got is actually a new pen and some tips. And let me open this up. I told myself I was done buying pens for a little while. But then I saw this and I was like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> and it came with the metal tips, which kind of put me over the edge. So, it's a cute little thank you card in here. And it just says, welcome to my shop. Thank you for purchasing my products. Cute. Okay. I think I've seen people unbox this brand before, and I apologize. I don't know the brand off the top of my head, but I feel like I've seen people open, like, this note before um, and read it on their video, so I feel like it's the same brand. Um, cute anyway <laughs> and it comes in I really like this case actually that has like the foam cut out for the pen and it came with some wax and then the tips I really like this case I think that's really cool and again this would be good for traveling too just like throw it in your bag that's really cool so okay let's take it out <clears throat> So if you watched my previous video, you know that I made some Christmas pens with polymer clay. Um, so I wasn't actually going to buy a Christmas themed pen, but I saw this with the snowmen and the snowflakes and the Christmas trees. And I thought it was really cute and I like these... Um, I've heard people refer to these as sort of like the more budget-friendly pens rather than the hand-turned ones, which I think the hand-turned pens are absolutely gorgeous. I would like to buy one of those someday. I don't have any of those currently. Um, but I like this style of pen. It is a little bit heavy, though. I will say that about this one. Like, this one that I made is really, really light because it's just a pink pen inside some clay. And then, like, this one is a bit smaller, like, thinner-wise. This is one that I got from Diamond Art Club. Actually, now that I'm holding both of them, like, this one is thinner, but weight-wise. You know what? This doesn't have tips in it, though. So, maybe that's not a fair comparison. But it's kind of heavy, kind of chunky. But I really like it. It's really cute. And I liked that it came with the tips. So I got some blue wax in here. That's kind of cool. And then, so we've got a metal corrector. And then uh, some metal tips here. So let's put some of these in. Maybe I should have put a curved one in. I like these curved ones. The single placer. That's pretty cool. So it comes with a three. Hopefully you can see these and my camera's focusing. <laughs> nine. There's the nine placer. And then this other one must be six, I'm thinking. Yep. Six. So let's put this one in there. So this style, it looks like comes with the rubber rings in there to like little gaskets to keep them in place it's 
a little bit tough to get in there, but that means it's going to stay nicely in there. Ah, it looks like maybe did that gasket just break. Let's look. Yeah, it like sheared off a little bit. I think it's going to stay in place though. It's a little tight. Okay. It's not going to budge though, I don't think, unless you really yank on it. So cute. That's going to be so fun to do my Christmas projects with. And I, I think I'll still use my pen that I made because again, it is really light uh, compared to this one, but it'll be fun. Maybe I'll put like the corrector in this one and still use this one like for multi-placing and stuff. So, so there's that. I'm really happy with that. It's really cute. And I feel like you could still use this even after Christmas because it's more winter themed than Christmas, I would say, with the snowmen and the snowflakes in it. So cute. I'm glad I got that. So the only thing is, oh, I guess you have to take the tips out to put it back in the case. Oh, and it does have the extra rings in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that, but extra rings. So maybe not that practical for traveling because you can't put it in the case. With the tips in, you'd have to take them out. So cute. Okay. Moving on to the last thing here. This is what I'm really excited about. Let's move the garbage out of here. Okay, this is a coaster set. I did, a little while ago, I did a set of the Mandala coasters that I've seen on Amazon. And so then I saw some Christmas ones and I was like, okay, yeah, I need to do some Christmas ones. <laughs> And I might actually make these as a gift for someone um, if they turn out cute. If they don't look that cute, then I won't give them away. But um, they have to be cute, you know, to give to someone else. <laughs> so um, it is a set of six coasters, I want to say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I was wrong. Eight. And it has the cork backing that just sticks onto the back of the coaster. And it even comes with a little stand. I just think that is so cute. Okay. So we'll go through the designs in just a second. But these are all crystal rhinestones. So let's take a look at the rhinestones really quickly. Oh, they're not all crystal rhinestones. Some of them are regular drills. So we've got pretty silver color here. And a blue. Not a whole lot of those. Blue color. Ooh, I like that. That's like a really pretty teal color. Hopefully you can see it on my camera. <clears throat> and the uh, yellow almost uh like brassy color. Oh, that's like a really pretty, let me try to get this better. A really pretty champagne color. And an orange color here. Oh, royal blue. Is, the royal blue, um, Rhinestones are always very pretty. And this is like a red, but almost like a burnt orange color. The pale blue. And the yellow. Almost more like a gold yellow. And orange. That's more like a gold that color. These are really pretty. Christmassy green color there. Let me see that better. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these are the same. Are they the same? No, this one's a bit darker. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> so there's a really pretty soft pink color. 
And there's our like more Christmassy red color in there. And then there's a black and a white. Just kind of regular draw so cool. Okay. Alright, so let's go through the designs of the coasters. I think they're gonna be so cute. So there's a Santa holding a little present. He looks so cute. And a stocking with it looks like candy and like gingerbread cookies coming out and some holly. Another Santa. He's so cute and chubby. <laughs> and there's a Rudolph. This one is a truck with some gnomes and a Christmas tree. And it says Xmas. This is honestly, this is what made me pick this entire pack was this cute gnome. I thought he was so adorable. Holding this little candy cane and bobble. He's so cute. So hopefully these come out. I mean, the like this design is kind of detailed. Like some of them are kind of detailed. Like the stocking one is pretty detailed like up here. Hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> the pictures looked cute on like the reviews for Amazon. So this one is a snowman. Again, hopefully that comes out nicely. And then Gingerbread Man, which is really cute. So yeah, so I'm going to do these this week, hopefully, and get them done. And I would like to give them as a gift if they turn out cute enough. If they don't look that great, then I will keep them and use them <laughs> as decoration in my house. Um, just because... If they're not that cute, I don't want to give them away <laughs> to someone else. Um, but I think they will be cute, and I think I will ultimately end up giving them away. So that is it for my unboxing. Oh, I wanted to show you guys one other thing that was a find. Um, kind of. This is nothing new. I've seen these, like, almost every year for, like, four years. <laughs> but I grabbed one this year, and I just wanted to show you guys that... They have these really cute cups. Again, I've seen them like almost every year for the last four years at Walmart. And they're a dupe for the Starbucks um, studded tumblers. This one was, I paid $6.94 for this, which I think I paid like a little bit more because I ordered it on the app and had it delivered. But uh, it's better than the, like, $36 <laughs> that the ones at Starbucks are. And they have pink and red and I think a black one, too. Um, so this was the iridescent kind of green one. Um, and it's really, really cute. And I love it. It's so... And it does keep my drink cold. The only thing is do not put your straw in <laughs> the dishwasher. Um, because I did. And it's not dishwasher friendly. So it's a little bendy now but yeah so that's really cute walmart $6.94 and oh before i go let me tell you the prices of the other items i will link these down below the coaster set was $16.99 and the pen set was $15.99 so all right, we will wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. And I also wanted to say thank you for all my new subscribers. The fact that anybody would care enough about my videos to watch and to uh, click subscribe just means the world to me. I think it's really, really cool. So thank you so much. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye. <laughs>